In this video, I will show you how to turn this into this gorgeous YouTube subscriber counter. Stay tuned, I will show you how. We will need 8 digit LED display, node MCU board, female to female jumper wires, and wooden box. Link to all parts in the description. You will also need a USB to micro cable to program and power this YouTube counter. We're gonna place LED display on top of the box. You can place it on the side for example. You can use LED display to transfer required shape. Carefully mark the cutout. As always, measure twice, cut once. I keep doing it the other way round, though. I've used knife to cut the hole. Depending on what box you get, it might be better idea to use hacksaw or dremel tool. My box had thin plywood on top, so it was really easy to cut it with knife. Use your brain and don't cut yourself. We will need to solder connectors to the LED display. Just make sure you solder it to the right side. What you need to look after is the IN. Which probably stands for a digital input. Don't solder to D out the on the other side. It's really pain to unsolder such connectors, trust me. Then the software side. We will need to download few libraries. YouTube API. Select and install. Then Arduino JSON. Again, select and install. And LED control install. Then we need to copy highlighted URL and paste it here. This will allow to download new boards into Arduino. We need a ESP8266. Select and install. When it's done, we can select our board, node MCU. 1.0 ESP-12E When you try to compile now, it might show this error. Simply replace this line from the LED control.h file with uh, these lines and it will compile. The full path to this file is shown in the bottom window.
replace this code and save changes. Then we will need to generate Google API key. Use the link provided in the code, then go to the Cloud Platform Console. I've already had some projects which I, I removed, that's why you see this error. You need to create new project. I named it yt spinolek and hit create. Make sure you got your project selected, then, then go to APIs and services and click library. Find YouTube data API version 3 and click on it. Then click to enable. Then back in API and services. Then create credentials and select API key. And voila! You have API key. Copy it and paste it into Arduino sketch. Then it's much easier to get a channel ID. Two clicks and... There you have it. Copy and paste it into the sketch. Enter your Wi-Fi details and you are ready to upload. It does take a while though. When you're done, you should see your subscriber count and your total views. By watching this video, you increase view count by at least one. But can you increase subscriber count? I've measured the whole size which I need to fit this plug through. I don't have a 13mm drill. I've decided to drill 10mm and then 12mm. As I expected, it's still too tight to fit this plug. I've used my beloved knife to enlarge the hole a bit. Now it fits! See how I arranged it inside. Paint the box to give it more appealing look. I've used water-based varnish in teak color. I've applied two coats for better, more uniform look. The more coats you do, the darker color you will get. I've used hot glue to hold that display in place. Apply glue in few places and, while still hot, align display. Let it cool and harden and check if display is still aligned. If necessary, apply a little bit more and align it properly. If all is hunky dory, apply plenty glue around display. Apply some glue on wires to keep them in place as well. Apply some glue where the USB cable enters the box. And your beautiful YouTube subscriber counter is ready. For less than $10, it looks pretty impressive, I think. Let me know in the comments what you think. Feel free to test drive my YouTube counter. 
Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.